if each of us was able to know our own family story, there would never be the threat that our stories would be rewritten or misrepresented. Pa and Ma, I have a sense that something is going to happen soon. Thousands and thousands are dying, but we have to keep our courage up. These are words written by Flip Sleer on the 13th of July, 1942. Soon, he will be murdered. I am Paul Sleer, he's my first cousin once removed. I have returned to the city of his birth, Amsterdam, to tell the story of his death. One of the houses in Froelichstraat in Amsterdam, which was actually the apartment that belonged to Flip's parents, was being renovated. The roof of the toilet was knocked down, as was the whole apartment, and a box of letters came tumbling down to the floor. And those were the letters that were written by Flip Sleer. He was gassed in Sobibor concentration camp in Poland, but I knew very little else about him. Mr. Toki. Yes. Hi. Hi. Leon Toki, because he's an historian, he was able to provide me the bigger picture, the context. Where are we? We are in the Frolic Street. This was a Jewish street, completely, yes, and uh, approximately out of every four families, three were Jews. Hello. Yes. Hi, I'm Paula. Manus. <laughs> Um, Manus, he is the man who um, found the letters, and if it wasn't for you, mm -hmm. please can you translate, if it wasn't for him, then we would never have found out the story of what happened to Flip. As I meet Manus, I see a very simple human being, a, a very unassuming man, who discovered the letters and understood, instinctively perhaps, that they would be important to somebody else. And so for me, Manus is just the first part of the puzzle. Shoulder thing. This is a little shell of a short house, this one. And then the above is the floor. I think that the brieven toen die tijd, want the plafond that is gestuurd. Yeah. And that makes it then not stuck. Oh, and I'm trying to imagine that this was where my my great grandparents lived. So, uh, 70 years ago, this is where my family lived. From what I understand, it was from this house that Flip's parents were taken. They died in the camps eventually. Can I open the window? Yes, So I'm imagining Flip's mother maybe looking out of the window, standing perhaps afraid to come too close, looking for her son, worried about her son. Yeah, do it open. Yeah. It's Here we say, kijk, and there's nog het oude plafond. Daar boven tussen die en daar boven, daar was het. I grew up with practically no information about my family. And so the discovery of the letters of Flip Sleer was an opportunity to have a sense of history and a sense of identity and belong to a family. So where are, where are we actually? This is... This is the, the New York National Institute of uh, War Documentation. I'm quite excited, so I'm going to see the original letters. I have here the, the letters. I can't believe that. These are the letters. Actually, I'm holding in my hand my first cousin's once removed letters from 70 years ago. I can't believe it.
lieve pa en ma. Veel weet ik op dit moment niet te schrijven. Of hij What is a human being? Kaart, What is life worth nowadays? Krijgen, Nothing. Die, sorry, die hem weg, and yet we will not lose it. Zorgen. And that's why we have to keep strong Stop and have to trust. Zet, we once will be set free. Of this I am sure. Hartelijk groet in een stevige zoen van Flip. I traveled a little bit further to the people he wrote about in the letters. Hello. May I introduce you? Hi. Nice to see you. Hi. Me kisses. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Hi, I'm Paula. It's really nice to meet you because your husband is the closest person I have yes, to yes. understanding who Flip was. Obviously, I have just the letters. I don't have any people who knew him in the way that your husband knew him. And they were friends? Uh, yeah, of course, uh, they were friends. Human. Uh, he, 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 yeah. he was a comic, Com uh, com comic, uh, comic guy. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, no, I want to look at photos. I think we should yeah. do photos. Uh, oh, yes. Is that Flip? It looks uh, like Flip. It's Flip, yeah. I recognize this picture. This is Flip. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Flip, yes. Paula, we are here for you in a very uh, sensitive, sensitive place and maybe emotional. Flip, he was under the clock and that's the clock upstairs. And the Gestapo looked for people who go on, uh, on a journey but didn't have a permit. They just ask you, say, do you have a permit to travel? You don't have a permit to travel and you were caught. He was supposed to meet someone here at the station who was going to help him get to Switzerland and freedom. But instead he was betrayed, he was captured, he was arrested by the Nazis. And from here he was put on a train. And then it was just a one-way ticket. It was a one-way ticket to the east. I'm in a quiet district in a town not far from Amsterdam. It's a small area. And of course, Holland today is known for being a very tolerant society, including towards Jewish communities. But I'm on my way to meet the leader of a far-right radical party who subscribes to Nazi ideology. And I really want to ask him whether or not he believes that what happened to Flip Slier and the rest of my family could happen again. I want to meet Constant because he is a voice of Nazism today. The stairs. <laughs> I guess you'll take everything now. Or... Are, you, are you? Are they twins? No, they're not twins. No, no. But no. they look alike. Oh. Uh, my wife. Hello. Who's that? I've taken that from school, and I've taken that from the museum. Why do you take it to schools? What is your message to then the children? Then we say uh, what's happening in Arn uh, Battle of Arnhem and then we are going to say what is happening. I want to be frank with you before I even start the interview. Obviously I've come to interview you as a journalist for Russia today. I want you to know that I am Jewish. If you have a problem with it or if you're comfortable for us to continue with the interview. No problem. From the far right, I have never heard about that we have a problem with, uh, with the Jew. 